Hello, this is Dr. Chad McKernan, and this is your True Wellness Minute. Um, how many times have you tried to lose weight? Uh, you exercise every day, you eat right most of the time, uh, but no matter what you do, you can't lose weight. If this is you, I have some very important information for you today. Um, our health and life depends on how accurately instructions are conveyed to our cells so that they can act in harmony. Uh, it is the communication among the individual cells that will determine our health and our life. Uh, these communications take place by hormones. Therefore, some of the most important molecules in your body that ultimately will decide your health and life are hormones. Uh, the two most important hormones that deliver messages about energy and metabolism are insulin and leptin. Now, metabolism can roughly be defined as the chemistry that turns food into life and therefore insulin and leptin are critical to health and disease. Uh, both insulin and leptin work together to control the quality of your metabolism. Insulin works mostly at the individual cell level telling the vast majority of your cells whether to burn uh, or store fat or sugar and whether to utilize that energy for maintenance and repair or reproduction. Uh, leptin, on the other hand, controls the energy storage and utilization of all the cells, allowing the body to communicate with the brain about how much energy or fat the body has stored and whether it needs uh, more or should burn some off and whether it is an advantageous time, nutritionally speaking, for the body to burn fat or not. So what is leptin? Leptin is a very powerful and influential hormone produced by fat cells that has totally changed the way that science looks at fat, nutrition, and metabolism in general. In short, leptin is the way that your fat stores speak to your brain to let your brain know how much energy is available and very importantly, what to do with it. Um, it has been known for many years that fat stores are highly regulated. Uh, it appeared that when one tried to lose weight, the body would try to gain it back. Uh, the common, common results or um, the common uh, misnomer is the yo-yo dieting uh, and in scientific circles um, one talks about the set point uh, of weight. Uh, it has long been theorized that there must be a hormone that determines this. Uh, science points now to leptin as being that hormone. Uh, if a person is getting too fat, uh, the extra fat produces more leptin which is supposed to tell the brain that there is too much fat stored, um, more should not be stored, and that the excess should be burned off. Uh, signals are therefore sent to an area of the brain uh, in the hypothalamus to stop being hungry, uh, to stop eating, and to uh, stop storing fat, um, and to start burning some um, extra fat off. Controlling hunger is a major way that leptin controls energy storage. Uh, hunger is a very powerful and deep-seated drive that, if stimulated long enough, will make you eat and store more energy. Uh, asking somebody to not eat uh, or to voluntarily restrict calories even though they are hungry is asking the near impossible. Uh, the only way to eat less in the long term uh, is not to be hungry and the only way to do this is to control hormones that regulate hunger, um, the primary one uh, being leptin. So what's the solution? Um, well, a simple test. Uh, once we know if your hormones are to blame for your weight loss resistance, we can begin to attack the real cause of your weight gain and fat loss resistance. Um, you give our office a call and we will set up a uh, consultation um, and, and talk to you and see if hormones could be a reason um, why it's nearly impossible for you um, to lose weight and um, show you the correct road um, as to where you need to be to get your leptin levels back to where they're supposed to be and allowing your body to burn fat the way that it was meant to be. This is Dr. Chad McKernan and this is your True Wellness Minute.